In the last episode, we looked at how ideologies and biases can influence policy design. Now we need to bring it all together and create a vision. Gina has helped Titus understand the difference between sex and gender. Titus is now able to integrate gender appropriately because he understands that gender is dynamic. By understanding gender norms, roles, and relations, Titus is able to challenge the ingrained beliefs that perpetuate gender inequality and constrain access to nutritious food for both men and women. Because Titus understands that gender is not just about women, he is able to genuinely understand the practical needs of men and women. He also addresses strategic needs to ensure successful implementation. Titus knows that his own understanding of gender can influence the policy. He can now reflect on his personal experiences of gender and develop a vision that is not influenced by his bias and ideologies. The vision of his policy is to achieve gender equality by promoting men's shared responsibility for the family and increasing women's participation in household decision making to support cooperation between men and women in agriculture, family nutrition, health, and well-being. If you keep these steps in mind, you can also develop a policy that advances gender equality and improves nutrition at the same time. Remember, gender and nutrition are central to several of the Sustainable Development Goals, especially SDG 2. Gina can help you make quick progress in achieving these goals. To access the checklist for Gina, please follow the link below. For more information, contact Elizabeth Mkandawiri.